I use this axe. This is actually a German axe. You, you can five, uh, find uh, similar axes in Eastern France. I'm used to this. and report this distance exactly here and this distance exactly here and so when this moves down this goes here goes here and it should, it must fit quite well this works only if uh, this is the same as this. And you record this here and this here. And see it's not alright, so it won't fit. And moreover, uh, this may be the, the length. If you have the same on the other side, it will be too short or too, too long. When we have this kind of uh, with, with, uh, when we have this case, we have to refer to an axis, this distance, and to put here. This is not to be absolutely uh, very precise, but approximately this and this distance to know where to measure, um, where to report this distance. And so uh, this. We Go here and this no here. Uh, in the theory you could have this from whether you want. Uh, it can be two meters away, but it's not practical, not easy. We can make a mark. Uh, on the down edge and on the upper edge. It's in three dimension. It, uh, I mean, sometimes you, you can't have your uh, string uh, touching this face. Mm -hmm. uh, in sometimes it touches, like in this case, it touches here but not here. So 
uh, if, if you look this way, you have the, the wrong measurement. Your eyes may be like a saw and you are in the cut you want to do. You measure on the, the edge here, the, the plum mm -hmm. touches, the string touches the, the corner. It means that when I look this way, I have to make a mark on the string. Here. And here, I have, uh, there are two ways to do. Uh, you can have a compass and measure this and report here, for instance, like this. But you can also appreciate with your eyes and say, okay, it's mm -hmm. 10 millimeters, so I put 10 or 11 millimeters. Mm -hmm. Or you can also use the meter, your rule, and do this way. And uh, so you, for instance, you do this and. And you add. Okay. So you, you see that uh, with the eye it's half a millimeter. You uh, link the two marks mm -hmm. and you have the kit. I won't do because uh, I won't. Uh, so one. Once you have done this. You do the same on the opposite side. Sometimes the cut is not perfectly flat. Some, uh, most of the time it is. But you, you have uh, for uh, in aim to have this angle because this one you, you don't know. So you, you make the same on this side and mark here. Mm -hmm. When you do the mortises, mortises, often you do square here and here. And so it means that you will have like a hole, whether a hole or uh, or you make the tenon steep too, and it doesn't work well. So the idea is not to have this uh, um, meeting between the two faces, but to cut. Uh, perpendicular to, at, uh, at a right angle, to this piece, to the, on the piece who receive the tenon, we will cut this way, here, and do the tenon like this, tenon, is here, okay, well, and then we will put a peg here. We will Im uh, imagine that uh, this will enter here, okay? Mm -hmm. We don't care of this part. It's a brace coming with a, a mortise here. I have this corner coming right here. And this one right here. Notice that also the pencil must uh, stay in the cut plan. If you do this way, because this can be round, the cut will be wrong. So you notice that it's uh, the angle here is really not square, and the the, the most you have, uh, the, the more the angle is steep, the more this will uh, look like this. We do the same on.
Okay, I'm in. And then we have the cut from the other side. Right. We say the throat, but I don't know what the term in English. But what we have, we want to have space in the mortise on the back side because it doesn't, uh, there is no strength to, to be ta taken, overtaken. But on this side, we want accurate joint. And if we have this coming here, it, it means that the tenon will have this shape too. You understand this? If I, I would we, we would if we uh, sc uh, scribe this side on this one if I look this way this side will be uh, something like this and yeah. Okay, and so it's not at right angle like this. So this is square. And this we will cut according to the plumb in this direction. We will this line with the string of the plumb mm -hmm. and the, the mark down is on the string too okay but on the other beam I need only to make a mark on the middle okay this way but this will uh, be then here, on the middle, okay? So we have to choose what uh, of which distance we want to move at the end. So if here we have uh, like uh, 15, or 15 to go down, we will take the compass and take 15 here. And the same distance absolutely here. On the opposite side. Uh -huh. And at both ends, but at one end, we will have to take this distance, and on, at the other end, we will have to add this distance and to add this and to take this distance with the compass, and from here to the other end of the brace. Yeah, because the brace one end will be here and the other will be here but not under the, that beam uh, I mean yeah you can report 15 but here you can't because this uh, you, ha you don't have this beam so you have to add this to the difference between these two beams and you put here okay on both sides too and that's it you make less mistakes. Okay. Uh, so now we, we keep the distance, we put the same here. And over there we add 19, add it to 15. So it's uh, 30, I guess. By it's a, a small shot you can make. What I do often is this. Oh, did you put the mark or no? No. Call it any. Why? Uh, uh, 34. 34, please.
0 ici jusqu'à ici. Toi, voilà. Et les autres, pareil. Ouais. 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 So here it's important to be at square angle. Um, the, the tenon make uh, our uh, seven centimeters length, so we'll dig eight, eight centimeters. Of course, we can also use auger and make holes, but. Moreover, in soft wood, mm -hmm. it's not necessary. You take like five millimeters from mm -hmm. the end. If you look this way, you will dig this way. If you're so, you need to have the check just. Yes, you can check too. But um, here, on this case, we did not make. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yes, and we, we did not make two axes. So uh, at the end of the beam, we can't have an axis to to plumb it mm -hmm. because we we could use. Uh, we could check with a plumb. Of course, we, we can do this way. Or what I, I often do is I check if mm -hmm. this, I, I can see the uh, end of the Yeah, the end of the move, just see. We will need a reference that uh, can allow, allow us to join this wall with this one. And you see this axis here in the middle of the tie beam uh, has a joint under the top plate. We can we must have a flat here that is. Uh, really flat and absolutely parallel to this one. So what we are going to do is to to plane and to to shave and plane uh, the uh, top plate at this place and this place mm -hmm. and to to level and then this. Uh, set on the, the measurement. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Exactly. It's the only joint that we won't need to plumb. We do uh, with the face. The face will be perfect, so the, we, we won't have to, to use plumb for for this joint. And uh, then we can. Yeah, bit in the middle. If you want, you can remove here. And now we can use a wedge. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. To level so I can refer to the board here. Nine and six millimeters. Oh. It's not forbidden. But first of, first of all, we will make a report of this line here. Uh, what we want to do, it, it depends. We, we, could, we, yeah, if you want we may want to center or yeah, uh, we may want to, yeah, yeah, as, as we want. Uh, if we want to have this centered, we will uh, say, for instance, uh, this is 12, so it's like 6 here, so I want to get this here, and I have to go down about uh, like uh, 16 is fine. But I can do this and look this way, take uh, like 5 millimeters here. And be sure to, yeah, like here. And this is the back. So oh, this is the new direction to cut. I report on this face, so I must have my eye aligned align with the, the string and the line below. Okay. I uh, rely the. mistake and do this it's bad because here we, are, we will have a gap okay. so it's better to right. do a bit slightly here because sometimes you mark right but you move the drill so <coughs> 
Okay, can, can you remove the... Uh, come, yeah. It's the uh, mortis. This is this corner, so we, we will go deeper until here and join here. And what we will, uh, what we want, is uh, to report this on this wood and also on the, the underface and also mm -hmm. here. Uh, so I will make uh, lines. Um, and extend them in aim to report with the plumb on the other sides. Uh, here I can join there, here, uh, from here to here, but uh, it's as we saw before, uh, maybe this point is, is not vertic uh, at the vertical of the other corner. So I have to choose um, a cut to do um, that uh, it's me who choose. So I look on the, the direction of the line as we did before. Important to be very precise, not to move. Uh, then uh, I will uh, report this too, because it will be helpful when this is removed to uh, describe the angle on the other piece. And for me, I give names to the lines because after a while you don't know what they mean. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's it.
qui dit pense Il espère et puis en parlait Il leur portait, il leur bougeait Il leur regrettait Ça court par un avant Qui est toujours plus tard qu'on pense Elle aimait, elle voulait Elle rêvait, elle priait Elle lui dit, mais c'est tu Elle l'a perdu Il l'a jamais su Elle a perdu son temps Le temps ça court par un avant il est toujours plus tard qu'on pense Il est toujours plus tard qu'on pense À vous tu regardes, laisse tes traces T'oublier, si t'as quelque chose à faire Dis-les-moi, dis-les-moi On voulait, on veut-tu Si t'es prêt ou si t'es perdu Mets ta main dans la mienne, avançons dans le temps Tu veux pas disparaître, moi non plus, moi non plus Faut pas perdre en mourant, le temps ça court par en avant Il est toujours plus tard qu'on pense, il est toujours Faut pas perdre en mourant, le temps ça court par en avant Il est toujours plus tard qu'on pense, il est toujours